Welcome to MedEdBytes, Micro Just-in-Time Education. Hello, this is Fernando again, and I will guide you through this educational bite. Trigger is how a ventilator phase is initiated. The mandatory ventilator breath can be patient triggered by a detected inspiratory effort by the patient or time triggered based on the breathing frequency set on the ventilator by the operator. There are four basic types of trigger methods. The first is pressure trigger. This can depend on the selected ventilation pattern, ventilator breaths, and whether a spontaneous or mandatory assured breaths can be initiated by the patient's inspiratory effort. This causes the diaphragm to contract, which reduces the pressure in the airways and causes air to flow through the breathing circuit toward the patient. This change in circuit pressure movement can be detected and measured by the ventilator and interpreted by the ventilator as a patient's inspiratory effort. The second is flow trigger. Breaths can be initiated by the patient's inspiratory effort, which results in air to flow through the breathing circuit toward the patient. The third is time trigger. The mandatory assured ventilator breath can also be triggered by a breathing frequency set on the ventilator by the operator. The next is neural trigger. Ventilator breaths can be triggered by a detected movement of the diaphragm using an electrode positioned in the patient's esophagus adjacent to the patient's diaphragm or phrenic nerve. Mechtronic, engineering the extraordinary. 